Hi, welcome back to my channel. First of all, thank you so much for being patient with me. Last week, as I took a week off of filming, our schedule just got absolutely crazy. We are one week out from vacation and <laughs> appointments have gotten just absolutely insane. Um, just everything has gotten really busy which kind of is expected, and wow, I can't emphasize enough just how busy it is. Um, but thank you again for allowing me to take the week off and being patient. Um, today, I have a lot in store for you. We are going to talk about my two-month carnivore results, where I'm at with that, how things are going, how my Ozempic is going. Um, so some big updates with that. I'm also gonna give you a bit of a life update, so you want to stick around for that? Let's get things rolling. First, as far as the carnivore diet goes, am I still on it? Yes and no. So this month I fell off the wagon and cheated a little bit, which turned into another cheat, which turned into another cheat, which turned into a week of cheats. Um, but we are back on as of now. Um, and I learned pretty quickly about myself that I'm just not able to cheat. So lesson learned, no cheats for me, just with my history with food and my body, I cannot cheat. It just leads to cravings and other problems. So from here on out, <laughs> no more. It's not gonna happen for me. But even with all that, and everything I learned, I started out this month weighing 235.2. This morning I weighed in at 225.2, so I still managed to lose 10 pounds. While it's not a really high weight loss, it's still a significant weight loss. I'm very happy with that weight loss considering I derailed for a little bit, um, and I'm very proud of myself for still managing to get back on track. Um, because in the past I wouldn't have been able to get back on track and get back to where I'm needing to be. Now, number two with my Ozempic. I am still having problems with not being able to eat enough. I am still in the process of weaning down. Um, I am probably going to the end of July um, take another step back as far as my dosage because I don't think that I can keep as high of dosage as I am and still manage to eat enough for the calorie needs that I need to have to prevent the hormone issues and different things that we've previously talked about. Um, if you didn't see that video, I will link that um, below and up in the cards. And so I'm just going to kind of keep tweaking that. I'm hoping to completely go off of that um, by August at the very latest. Um, I don't want to just go off cold turkey because I don't want to go into overdrive with my hunger cues. Um, I don't trust myself fully yet, um, even with carnivore, and so I want to kind of ease into that. Now overall for my body, I have noticed that I've lost several inches kind of around my midsection, um, kind of that flap kind of around my waist. I've noticed a decent amount of change. I've noticed a lot of loss around my legs. Um, I've always had larger legs. Um, I've been in marching band since like junior high school, did it all the way through college, um, did some time with like DCA and things like that. So I have always had very muscular but solid legs and it's like the hardest thing to lose weight on um, and I've noticed my legs losing weight and so that's kind of exciting for me um, to see them leaning down um, and just overall clothes are fitting better. Um, I've lost another pant size. I'm down to a 14-16 in pants. I'm in a large almost into a medium shirt depending on the brand of the shirt because we all know that clothes aren't made equal. Um, and then I think that I'm about to go down in a shoe size, um, which is the weirdest thing to me. I've never lost shoe sizes before. <laughs> and now for the big life update. So a few weeks ago, I interviewed for a new position as a nurse. 
I'm going to be working as a care manager for a local company and it's going to be remote so not much is going to be changing with my channel. I'm still going to be working this and doing my best to monetize and make this my full-time option eventually but I really miss working in the nursing field and I want to be able to help meet our financial goals um, and do some things there so I'm wanting to be able to contribute a little bit in the meantime um, so I'm excited for that um, I'll be taking you along for that kind of my thoughts with how that goes um, starting back into nursing after taking a year and a half off is gonna be weird <laughs> so that's kind of where I'm at with that and I'm getting ready to start a really big challenge so you'll see some of that coming up after I complete the challenge because I'm not going to talk about it until I finish it <laughs> um, but other than that that's kind of all I have for you today I know it's a little bit of a short video, but I just wanted to pop in and say hi and thank you so much for being here and supporting me. Um, I can't wait to take you along for some of the vacation content. We are going to Florida. We've got lots planned and I can't wait to take you along, but we will see you then. Until then, <laughs> bye for now. Mm -hmm.